Hey guys, I got my uh, Geo Tracker here and I got my base paint done. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do a digital camouflage on it, but uh, if you've ever tried doing that, you know what a pain in the ass it is, especially if you're trying to tape everything off, make the digits and all that stuff, pain in the butt. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, instead of that, I purchased this, uh, it's that flexible uh, magnetic sheeting and it's pretty pricey this uh this piece here i think it's four foot by like three foot and uh it was 40 bucks but well worth the time saved and uh so what i'm gonna do is grid this out mark my digital pattern that i want i'm gonna cut out the pattern and then what uh you do after you cut out your pattern you take it over to your vehicle or whatever you're gonna digitize hopefully it's magnetic um, and uh, you stick it onto your surface and uh, the magnetization will hold it there and uh, you just spray right over it so uh, hopefully it works out and uh, we'll see how it goes all right as you can see I took my sheet here and I I gridded it out in three inch squares and then I kind of just picked a design uh, that I wanted marked them all and now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut out the X's and it'll leave me with a pattern and then this whole thing will stick onto the body the metal of the car and hopefully it'll stick good enough to where I could just spray right over it and then uh, when it's you know somewhat dry I could pull the sheet and place it somewhere else and and go again and you can make several different templates um, and vary your patterns basically these are the pieces I cut out I'm just checking it once I put the other uh, template on there that's pretty much you know you're gonna be what your spray patterns left with uh, and you can use these pieces uh, you know as well to block stuff out and, and whatnot sometimes you get a little overspray because the magnetic doesn't you know like where the bends are you know you got to make sure that the magnets sticking good like right there on usually on the bends it's really hard i usually hold it with my finger and spray um but you might get a little overspray you know and certain parts that you don't you can't tell that are lifted up like here uh this you know area is really where they bend like that you might have to tape it uh, but it's a lot less work than tape and everything else off. I did a truck like this before, uh, Ford F-150 diesel crew cab. And uh, it worked out well. So like I said, you might get a little overspray uh, in certain areas. And that's almost inevitable. You have to, you're going to have to do some touch-up. All right, there we go. Keep One going. One of the problems you'll run into, if you make your templates too big, uh, and the panel is curved um, you're gonna run into issues so try and keep your templates as small as you possibly can um, because on these curves what happens is uh, on this magnet it just doesn't flex right and you get stuff like this and it won't go down you push here and it comes up here um, and it could be a nightmare but as long as it's a nice flat surface, this, this magnet usually sticks pretty good. And, uh, and you can spray. But like I said, if, if this doesn't work out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil and just mark my lines with a pencil. And then I'm just going to have to tape it. And, uh, you know, that's just one of the things. Uh, if you want to do it, that's what you're going to have to do. But this is one of the easiest ways i found. But for nice flat surfaces this method works out great and I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it right here because it's just it's too big and I'm getting these these folds here and work it leans over here it leans over here and pulls this up um, like I said you're either gonna have to hold that part with your hand when you spray or uh, just mark it tape it all all right so since uh this is such a small area and I can't get this template to really sit right without folding up. I'm just gonna have to take the time and tape it all off. So I'm using 
my my template here and I'm just uh, tracing my pattern this is a fine tip pencil lead pencil and uh, I'm gonna trace it all out and then I'm just gonna tape it it'll take time but you know what I got nothing better to do so what the hell it'll look cool when it's done all right uh you know what it's kind of cool out here right now and i think uh once this magnetic material warms up a little bit i think it flexes a little better so it'd probably be easier to do but this is the uh lines i made with the template and now i'm just gonna tape them and do it the hard way okay so now i have it taped uh my outline taped and i'm gonna cover all my edges and I'm going to go ahead and spray probably give it two or three coats and it'll look a lot better uh, once you see it We're all taped off and uh, I'm ready to spray I hit this with a tack cloth got all the dust off clean surface so let's do this see what happens all right uh, I sprayed the car with the uh, HBLP sprayer and uh, tractor uh, magic tractor paint from a uh, tractor supply company and uh but for the camouflage part i'm just gonna use this rust-oleum camouflage got it at walmart it's a few bucks a can stuff's great it sticks to plastic and everything so uh now i'm just gonna spray i'm gonna do some light like three light coats And there we have it. So I'm gonna let this uh, tack up and then I'm gonna do uh, probably one or two more coats and then I'll peel it and uh, show you guys what it looks like. Coat time on this is one hour. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start masking other parts. Again, I used my te that template there to get my pattern here. Uh, this thing's the body panels are so small but the easiest way to do it is just tape it off so that's what I'm doing okay reveal time I pulled the paper off and that's what we're left with it's the thing with spray painting large areas you get these stupid streaks but I think I get that out doing a little bit of a give it a like a light uh, color sand with like uh, 1600 wet should get those out of there. And I got this going here. We'll do that next. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, got the tape off. And that's what it looks like. I'm unhappy with these stripes. I'm hoping uh, once it finally cures, that'll go away. But if not, like I said, I'll try and wet sand it out. Um, digital camo. Your whole objective is to break up all the straight lines big straight lines just break them up fade them in nothing in nature is straight so you want to cover up them perfect curves and straight cross lines so from a distance you won't that straight line won't catch your eye anyways we're gonna pull this right now and see how that looks okay there's that and uh not bad and you get a little bleed over but this thing's not going to be perfect it's not a million dollar car it's a geo tracker but you can see the bleed over on some of the tape but from a distance you really can't tell like i said this is my little desert beat around car and uh so it is what it is after a good day in the desert it'll all get scratched up anyways all right, well, I just wanted to show you guys uh, 
how I do it. And I uh, hope your project turns out uh, turns out good. I'm gonna keep doing this. Of course, I'm gonna. That's brown and green, and I'm gonna do uh, some black in there. Maybe another shade of green or tan, or we'll see. See what happens. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. Help me out. All right. Take care.